Welcome to Reporter's Notebook, where we talk to the Washington Examiner's top journalists about the stories breaking on their beats. I'm Jim Antle. I'm joined today by investigative reporter Andrew Kerr. Andrew, we've got, had a big scoop on Hunter Biden's laptop, the son of the President of the United States. We're told that this was disinformation, that this was a, a real thing at one point. Uh, you couldn't really talk about it on Twitter or other social media platforms. But what have, what have we found out? Right, so the Washington Examiner, we actually commissioned a, a former Secret Service agent um, who's now a cyber forensics expert. He's testified in a over 100 um, uh, federal, uh, state, local, criminal, and civil matters. Uh, and he, he uh, went into the laptop and he determined that there's only one person uh, capable of producing all the content on the drive, and that person is uh, Hunter Biden. Mm -hmm. um, he looked at all the emails, he looked at uh, photos on the drive, the documents and everything, and essentially what he was able to do was uh, sandwich all the, the information together. So prior uh, efforts to examine the drive have focused mostly on emails. Right. But all the emails on the drive, they correspond with other documents. Um, you know, we've got you know, emails uh, detailing hotel stays. Mm -hmm. Well, those hotel stays uh, align with pictures on Hunter Biden's drive mm -hmm. where he took multiple photos of himself you know, at that very hotel at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so by using a technique uh, that um, the expert's name is Gus Dem Demetrolos, he calls it digital sandwiching, mm -hmm. uh, we were able to sandwich together hundreds of events on the drive uh, proving that you know, this is absolutely 100% legit Hunter Biden's hard drive. Digital sandwiching sounds delicious. So you and Jerry Dunleavy have done a number of stories about what we found on Hunter mm -hmm. Biden's laptop. What are some of the interesting things that you've discovered? Well, for one, it appears that Hunter Biden uh, took d personal data from his sister-in-law's cell phone over a dozen times between 2017 and 2018. Um, mm -hmm. Hunter Biden dated uh, Haley Biden, mm -hmm. his sister-in-law, after uh, Beau Biden's death in 2015. Right. And the communications on the drive uh, show that Hunter Biden was extremely um, you know, jealous and angry over her alleged relationship with a man named David Walsh. Mm -hmm. And so he takes he took data from uh, her phone, and we can there are screenshots on his computer of him highlighting David Walsh's na name and going through her phone records. Um, and uh, experts that we talked to said that if Hunter Biden did this without Haley Biden's consent, then you know, that's a federal crime. Right. And um, you know. This isn't just some guy. This is the son of the president of the United States. Right. Uh, so for him to be engaged in this type of conduct is uh, is absolutely you know something that uh, is worth you know highlighting uh, from the drive. We've also found that Hunter Biden, uh, there are records showing that he paid for and used uh, burner phone applications mm -hmm. from 2014 through 2018. Mm -hmm. So you know we know that Hunter Biden was engaged in foreign business dealings, right. and we can see from these burner phone applications that he was making purchases for capabilities, you know, for uh, you know unlimited uh, calling in Mexico and, and Canada. Uh, so. Um, and also we know that Hunter Biden had a very well documented uh, drug habit and right. there's not really many communications on on the drive showing him you know procuring the materials needed to sure. fuel a drug habit so um, you know that's an interesting finding too that ha that um, hasn't been, been reported yet uh, just the fact that he was you know using uh, applications that give him essentially a, a, a secondary phone number that you know it, that he could could have used on demand so when you ask the White House about anything Hunter Biden related, they say he's not in government, he's not an employee of this administration, <clears throat> it's a family relationship, not really of public concern, we're not going to talk about it, ask the Justice Department maybe about some of the investigative stuff. But Hunter Biden's relationship with his father is a pretty central part of how he's been able to do some of the things professionally that he's done, is it not? Right, even if Joe Biden isn't involved, uh, in any of Hunter Biden's uh, business dealings. Hunter right. Biden has absolutely cashed in on, on his name. Mm -hmm. um, uh, NBC News reported uh, just last week, they, they tallied up records from the drive showing that Hunter Biden uh, raked in uh, about $8 million from uh, 2013 through 2018, mm -hmm. um, and he spent al almost all of it immediately. But that was you know, based on his uh, the dealings with uh, uh, Burisma in Ukraine and, uh, right. and with his Chinese business partners uh, overseas. Um, so, and, and a lot of that was just based on the fact that, you know, he, his last name was Biden. Right, and that, that's the other aspect of this though too, isn't it, is that we're talking about some of these business dealings with, with being with foreign governments, some of whom are somewhat adversarial. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, um, and you know, uh, Joe Biden during his campaign said in, you know, crystal clear terms that none of my, none of my family members will be engaged in any sort of business dealings with any sort of international entities. But mm -hmm. business records still show that Hunter Biden um, owns a company called uh, Scania Atlas LLC, 
And that Scanning Atlas LLC uh, owns 10% of a Chinese uh, private equity firm called BHR Partners. Um, Hunter Biden has claimed that you know I've, he's no longer in, uh, involved with that private equity firm, but the business records to this day still list you know Hunter Biden's company as you know a 10% uh, owner of that firm. So. Um, you know, who are we going to trust, Hunter Biden's word or, or the actual business records? Right. Um, and Joe Biden has said explicitly that you know, his, family, his direct family would not engage in such conduct. So yeah, it's, it's absolutely relevant to be following up on that. Yeah, and I mean, it, it may be a cliche at this point to compare things to the, the former president, but uh, there was a lot of scrutiny of former President Donald Trump's children beyond the daughter and son-in-law who worked in the White House. Right, and you, rightfully so. Um, and. Joe Biden deserves and his family deserve the same level of scrutiny. So th there has been questions about whether the president himself has any involvement, all the, the, the talk about the emails about the big guy. We really don't know the extent to which that might be true at this point, do we? There is a uh, notable lack of any records on the drive. Uh, trust me, I've, I've tried my scoured best. It, I've yes. scoured it. Uh, mm -hmm. I haven't found any evidence showing that Joe Biden was receiving any money from Hunter Biden. In fact, what records on the drive show is that Hunter, Bi uh, sorry, that Joe Biden was offering cash assistance to Hunter Biden. Mm -hmm. Hunter Biden had, had extreme money issues, especially towards the uh, uh, during the first quarter of 2019. And there are multiple instances where uh, Joe Biden was you know, offering to loan or provide you know, a cash assistance to Hunter, you know, so that he could pay for uh, his kids' bills and you know, just kind of you know, make it through his day. So. Um, the, there is the big guy email that was uh, released. That that email is on um, the hard drive. Um, Hunter's former business partner Tony Bobulinski came out uh, in October 2020 saying that the big guy was in reference to Joe Biden. Right. Um, but uh, you know, Joe Biden came out with you know a, a pretty strong denial, saying I've never held any equity in any firm and never had you know been involved in any sort of business interest that you know uh, aligning with my son's uh, business dealings. Um, so. That's you know, kind of the, the current state of play um, that we're dealing with here. And Hunter Biden's tax situation is under federal investigation. Right, he's paid back something around like $2 million worth of back taxes. Um, mm -hmm. And um, the New York Times reported that he may have made a public showing of paying back those, those taxes because, uh, you know, and tried to, to, to sway a jury um, and prosecutors, you know, showing that, you know, he's acknowledged his mistake and he's paid back his back taxes. But, you know, it still shows that, you know, he, Accumulated two million dollars in, in unpaid taxes. That um, uh, and there's a uh, reporting that he's enlisted a, a Hollywood mega lawyer that um, helped uh, you know, either loan or, or you know, front front the cash for Hunter Biden to pay back his back taxes. So um, um, you know that's all pretty fascinating too. But that's the, still an ongoing investigation. Could lead to weeks or months of happy hunting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Thanks. You can read Andrew and the rest of our investigative team's coverage at WashingtonExaminer.com.